Hi everybody, it's David Fleming here from the Toronto Realty Blog, and today I wanted to talk about a new condominium that I really, really like. And yes, it's kind of ironic because this condominium is currently hiding behind a tree, but the point I'm trying to make is that it just fits with the area. If this tree was in full bloom, you might not even be able to see it. This is the Bertsy, okay? This is 55 Front Street, and here we are, I'm standing in the park, and you're down on Front Street in the original historic Toronto, the original Toronto. These buildings here, see that there, the Beardmore building? These buildings date back over a hundred years. This is original Toronto. And in this area right now, we have, this is the back of the Flatiron building. We have a condominium that just kind of suits the area. See that there? That's the L Tower. And that sticks out like a sore thumb, which is kind of ironic because it looks like a thumb. But in a day and age where condominium developers are building massive monster condos, we have the Bertsy. The Bertsy is a beautiful red brick building that, like I said, it just suits the area. It does not look out of place. The buildings right next to it, they're red brick and it just sort of flows. The developer must have known. This developer wanted to build something that kind of suits the area. And I love this building. I love the fact that where we have 50-story towers, 80-story towers. We have Mervish and Gary who want to build three towers of 80-plus stories in an area that's dominated by structures just like this that are two and three stories. We have a developer that constructs a very cool 13-story, 161-unit building, and it just kind of fits. See this roof line here? Okay, it just continues all the way along here. I love it. I love the continuity. I love the structure. I love the fact that this base of this building just kind of fits with the rest of the buildings along here that are some of the oldest, most historic buildings in Toronto. Because the St. Lawrence Market area, folks, this is where Toronto was established. Right down here, right at Front Street. Down by the St. Lawrence Market, by Wellington, by Front. Back when streets like King and Queen were named Duke and Duchess. And this building, folks, it just works. It works with the area. And you know what? The residents responded because this building sold out in pre-construction. You can't get your hands on a unit right now because they sell very, very quickly. I love the terraces up top. Some very, very cool units. And no, they're not cheap. But look, it just fits with the area. Down here, another old historic building. To the very, very back there, you've got the St. Lawrence Market area. I'm standing here right outside of the Flatiron Building, which you all know as a Toronto landmark. And here we have the Bertsy. I think it is probably one of the best condominiums I've seen built in the last few years. And I'm not just talking about the interior units themselves. I'm talking about Toronto, downtown Toronto, and what we need. We don't need more buildings like that. We need more buildings like 